it. Okay, so wait, I did not know this that the head. entire Look, thing I'm looking at right now is that head. What? That is such a huge thing. I cannot wait to eat that. sit inside well just for the time being but I think we're just going to collect our food and probably draw a little bit more money um, it's really cool there's tons of space they've got an inside section and an outside section what's also important to note is that it's a cash only business so you do need to have cash with you there is an ATM inside the store so just check your withdrawal fees or whatever depending on your bank and, and, and give it a go but the pricing is also quite nice we'll probably we'll show you how much was, uh, was our stuff and they've got a whole bunch of specials that's always running so there's a lot of really good uh, really good stuff from a pricing perspective as well and we're really looking forward to to getting our fish I mean so we just came to the whole harbor of Kalk Bay and it is so beautiful it's such a nice warm sunny day today and it was the perfect day to come to Kalk Bay at a restaurant called Kalki's, which is also one of the oldest fish and chips shops in Cape Town. Um, and we were so excited about our trip the other day to um, Snooky's in Hout Bay that we decided, well, why not just go to Kalki's and also get a different experience and a different feel for the flavors and also to compare things like this, how affordable the stuff is. So far, it's extremely good on all fronts. And, um, We'll show you a snapshot of all of the surroundings and stuff like that, but it's just, even though it's midweek, it's a Wednesday today, um, it's still quite busy. I wouldn't say that it's as busy as, you know, a normal weekend or whatever the case is, but um, there is a little bit of, you know, hustle and bustle around, with people moving around, and um, the gulls are out, um, the seals are out, the water is looking beautiful, <laughs> so... I think it's, it's a great day and once again we're here to have fish for breakfast. Something that I just wanted to highlight as well is that 
Parkes is doing a great job in terms of just making sure that things are safe from a corona, from a COVID-19 perspective. So when you come inside, you you first need to sanitize and then you've got a you get your temperature checked you sign in at a register and the tables have been sanitized so there's a lot of good measures in place to make sure that it is safe and that it's compliant with the regulations um, and just that you know you as a, a guest you as a customer you at least know that stuff is uh, is quite nice and, and, and tightly controlled so i think that on the covid front it really puts me at ease that they've that they've just got a, a more of a, a nice active handle on it and i really appreciate that what I like about the Cape and living here is that everybody is just so friendly. Like just now my coffee started leaking in my bag and I can't believe that it did that um, in the flask. Um, and this lady just came out with a, 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 a lappy or cloth and she just started wiping the place up and she helped me. She gave me a plastic bag so she was everybody so warm and friendly and welcoming and thinking about the next person. And that's why I love coming here. Um, it's just wonderful. Just to add on to what Kashi has said, then, you know, they're also making sure that everybody's got their orders, so ladies also going around, they've been calling for this, you know, order 169 and no one's going for it, and, and so, you know, they literally come around, hey, can I just check your receipt, I just want to make sure that you're getting your food, and you know, so they, so it's just, it's a very nice, it's just a very, it's, a, it's just a nice operation, you know, I think it's just nice people, the staff are nice, um, you know, they, they're keeping everything good from a, a COVID and safety perspective, I think it's just a really good, it's just a really good establishment here. I'm, I'm feeling very happy about coming to Kalki's. Okay, so we ordered cob, grilled cob, and honestly, I have never eaten cob before, and I'm not even sure what it actually is. And John just Googled it, and this is what it says. Argyrosimus. Um, yeah, Argyrosimus japonicus. I don't know if I'd ever name my son. <laughs> Argorosimus Japonicus, but and, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, Google is just popping up some that looks like quite the fish. I mean, this is just what Google Images is popping up. So I, I think this gentleman he nabbed a cob, and this is what it's looking like. So this is what I've ordered. They've got a great special on cob, Gen That's what you're the be eating. which I'm going to be eating. They've got the normal special. Well, the normal price is 160, but today they must have just gotten a lot in because the special is 85 rand for the carbon chips, which seems really great. And and of course, I mean the Haken stuff is what 70, 75. So pricing is is really good. They've got a lot of specials on the board out today. So I, I don't know if we just came on a good day or if they just like to keep the specials coming, but I'm really looking forward to trying out good old uh, Japonicus over here. Look at how this one is exploding. Okay. They can't even close it. Our order has finally arrived and it is looking like it is exploding from this container right now. Oh my word. Okay, so wait, I did not know this that the entire thing I'm looking at right now is that head. What? That is such a huge thing. I cannot wait to eat that. So just to explain, this massive portion of fish here is just the head. And, oh and, my god. And this was 35 rand, so that's really, really, that's an extreme value. It. You can see there's so much meat on there, it's huge, and it's sitting on a bed of chips underneath. Here we've got my fish, this is the cob special, this is the, the meat from the same fish. Also sitting on a bed of chips, we've got lots of lemon over here. It also comes with two tubs of these, you know, some tartar sauce. And they also are very generous with any additional salt, pepper, vinegar that you need. You are fully, fully stocked out here at Kalki's. So this is really good value, I think from a money perspective, that, that's really good value for money. And we're gonna tuck in now. I cannot wait to taste this. Mine is looking like steak. It's like this is the steak of the ocean. So look at how thick and glorious that meat is. It's beautifully flavored up and seasoned. I just wanna taste it and I wanna tell you what I'm tasting. Okay, I ordered the cob head and I love fish head. I think that fish head is one of the most amazing, if not the most amazing part of the fish. I've always loved it. The reason is because the meat is so succulent and soft and all around the eye over here is actually so squishy, a little bit gelatinous and it's just supremely delicious. Um, you can make a soup with it, you can fry it, you can do whatever you want with it, but fish head for me is just like I'm so excited to actually try this fish head right now. And if you're adventurous, you can just take the eye and stick it in your mouth as well, because that's completely um, edible. But if you can't eat the entire thing, because it's kind of, sometimes it's like a little bit of a stone, 
can just put that out, but then it's, it's just like all the meat around it is what you need to get succulent. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. Absolutely delicious. I love it. I what are you tasting? Mm. Very, it's very meaty. I mean, it's the head. It's got a lot of meat around it. But um, I want to get around the eye area, like I was explaining. And I haven't gotten there yet. So I'm really loving it. The flavor is outstanding. Mm. It's got a subtle um, herby flavor to it, but it's very nice and salty. You, I don't need to add anything more to this. It's just great. It's great. Okay, I need to go in for a bite of this. Kashi has been really enjoying her cob head. Now I need to taste. This is the body of the fish. It's worth noting that as I was trying to take it out of the this container into the plate, onto the plate, then it was so soft and like it's got a nice kind of oily oiliness inside. It's like a nice oily fish inside. The meat kind of just like started sliding apart, you know. So really, really cool. I'm really looking forward to this. Mm, mm, mm. 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 That is delicious. What I'm getting is a nice thick texture to it. It really is like, it, it feels like I'm eating steak, only steak from the ocean. So it's a nice thick, meaty consistency. There's tons of flavor, it's very soft as well. Very soft, melt in the mouth, it's, an, it's really really nicely cooked. And what they did here is we, I ordered it grilled. I know I've strayed from the fried, uh, from, the, from the ways of the, the fried fish, but this is grilled and it's absolutely delicious, it's absolutely amazing. They've really used a lot of herbs in the flavoring here and that really comes through in just how delicate and flavorful and aromatic the fish is as well. It's a very, very flavorful fish. Uh, if you're going for this, this cob special, you're going to have a great time with it. So when you try to pull apart a fish head, it's actually a very delicate process. But once you do, you'll find that there are a lot of layers and things like that to pull apart. With a lot of really loose bones and stuff like this, sometimes you can actually crunch into it because they're quite nutritious for you. But you shouldn't, you know, obviously if there's a sharp piece over there, you shouldn't try to eat it or anything. The texture of the ooey gooey stuff I was talking about actually looks like this. So kind of like in between a calamari and a fish and and jelly <laughs> but stunning <laughs> amazing <laughs> I'm standing right now in Cog Bay with a, a very significant restaurant behind me and this is actually where, I can't remember how many years ago, maybe it was in 2015, Four. 2014? Five years ago. Oh, five years ago, whatever. Anyway, long time ago, many years ago, Kash and I had come down to Cape Town, to this whole Western Cape region 
Prashi's birthday actually and I remember I was on crutches at the time but we traveled all over the place we were all over the show in Stellenbosch and then into Cape Town and we came down here to Cog Bay on one of the days and we had a fantastic day here where we literally I believe we, we you know we, we were here in the area but the way that we ended it off is that and I'm gonna wait for that truck because I don't think it can hear me that motorbike anyway we ended it off at this restaurant it was a, a late uh, it was late in the evening sun was setting we came over here and we thought gosh this is so wonderful and wouldn't it be awesome to live in Cape Town I mean what a the you know the people were friendly the foods were amazing there were so many different kinds of cuisine from the Afrikaans to the Cape Colored to the, uh, the just so many different things architecture different styles they, they don't just have one ocean they have two so you know it was just amazing and then we actually sat at that restaurant and we hatched what we called plan angelfish which was to move over to Cape Town and what's super funny about the story is we thought we were eating angelfish but we weren't <laughs> anyway that's not what's important our lack of fish knowledge is not what's important what's important is that restaurant is still over there it's still looking wonderful and hopefully we'll pop on over one of these days to have our meal there but now we want to take a look for Olivia's bakery and we want to show you a brownie from that bakery and just uh, you know uh, on another note happy to say that plant angel fish since it's been hatched has actually worked out pretty well <laughs> oh yeah it's worked out pretty well we within a few months we then moved to the Cape and now here we are five years later here we are <laughs> John started this tradition, we had to stop at Olympia's Bakery, which is down the road from Culp Bay where we were, from the harbour, and get a brownie. And then after we get a brownie, we're going to go sit on the rocks and have it with our cup of coffee. <laughs> 